Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Star Control 2. All right, we're still uh, visiting the Sly Landro, so let's go ahead and leave and uh, head back to uh, our starbase. Uh, we'll see if anything interesting has happened there um, before we move on out to something else. Hello, I see you coming. Ha-ha! <laughs> we nope. come in peace. No, you don't. We can transmit destruct sequence. Let's do that. Engaging self-destruction circuitry. Oh, look! We automatically win and get 550 RUs. Oh, it's so good. All right. Well, you know what? Did I, uh... Did I go to this, uh, world down here? I don't remember. I suppose I should have checked closer on my videos before I, uh... That's a, that's a gas giant, isn't it? It's really close, so I figured I'd come by and take a look. That is indeed a gas giant. Oh, goodbye. Oh, it's Vega. I missed that. Surely I've been here, then. Whoa! There we go. Uh, as long as I don't land, it hasn't taken that much fuel, so... Vinylogus world. It's a vinyl world. That looks pretty junky, though. Whee! Buzz the sun! God damn it. I am a terrible pilot. Never hire me to uh, pilot your spaceships, everyone. Just don't do it. It's not a good idea. That's a pretty ugly looking world. Magnetic world? Nothing good there. Nope. Well, uh, I just remembered that there was something that I was going to mention. Uh, since I was last recording of this game, at least. Um... I got my uh, replacement uh, air conditioner, because uh, my older other one uh, kind of crapped out on me. Um, this one uh, seems to be a little bit louder, but the uh, um, I did a, a test recording, and it didn't seem like it picked up the uh, uh, sound on my recording, so I'm pretty happy about that, at least. Um, so that's a good news. I won't be sweltering in the heat, the summer heat anymore. No, don't zoom in. I didn't want you to zoom in. No, oh, no, don't leave. Don't leave. Thank you. There we go. Crimson World. I was kind of hoping that Vega would have some more stuff, but apparently not. Maybe red dwarf stars just don't have much good. Much in the way of good stuff. Um, is there another world over there? Or is that just a star? Did I visit? Yeah, I visited that one. That is another world. Alright, what are you? Anything good? Hmm, Azure World? No. That's a lot of biologicals, though. Hmm. Sure. Let's see if I remember how to shoot. Yep. Let's get away from them. I like how the earthquakes uh, block my shots. Okay. 
get some more. Ah, no, no. I want to get you. Let's get some minerals. Let's get some minerals, I said. Ah, oh, it's so nice to have all these upgrades, isn't it? I see you over here. I think there's a single stationary creature over here. Yep. Look, it's a fire flower. Ah, boo. I didn't notice that I was full. Oh, well. Let's go get these minerals. Well, that last one can stay there. I don't think it's worth uh, going down and getting it. Alright, well, I suppose that was worthwhile enough. Go ahead and leave. And... You know what, as long as we're up here... What is that? There's one... Zeta Corvi. Why the heck not? As long as I'm up here, I mean. Why not? Something's coming up towards me. That is a... That, those are a lot of gas giants. There's like nothing but gas giants here. Infrared world, nothing. Anything good? Super dense world. Nope. Alright, well, let's go to this purple, uh, um, one. Ugh, it has two, uh, it looks like it has two pellucid worlds, or whatever the... Hmm, noble world. That could be good. Let's go ahead and... Grab some stuff. Argon. So at least we have some stuff when we get back to uh, uh, the uh, base. I noticed uh, right before I started the episode that my uh, cargo holds were completely empty. I'd like to at least make... get some use out of them as, on these trips. Well, it looks like that's about it. Alrighty! Alright, let's go to this uh, gray one over here. Oh, Selenic World. That's what I'm thinking. Yep, Selenic World. That's what I was thinking of. There is nothing there. Super dense world. Nothing good. Another Selenic world, probably? Yep. Interesting how the gray ones are ju there's just like there seems to be just one type of gray world except for the uh you know, not including the uh gas giants of course since they're all just gas giants doesn't matter what color they are That is a very orange gas giant Uh Azure World anything good? No. Azure worlds seem to always be crap, don't they? Oh, hello! Well, let's get some uh, more RUs. Why not? Converse! We come in peace. No, you don't. Engage in Die. Destruction circuitry. Goodbye!
Thank you for your RUs. I appreciate your contribution to the success of our mission. Oh, almost missed that one. Nope. Get there, thank you. Purple world! Nothing. Hey, you purple worlds. Hey, you purple worlds. Seriously? Seriously? All right. Come to daddy. I'll take your RUs. We come in peace. <laughs> Engage in self-destruction circuitry. Goodbye. Ah, so good. Alright, let's go over here. Infrared world. Nothing cool. Oh god. A lot of mercury. These guys take a lot of sh hits. I'm probably gonna fill up on these guys, too. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I see you. Come here. I want you. I want you. I want you. You're mine. Thank you. I don't know why I went after him. Ah, I lost someone. First guy in a while. You know what? Let's actually leave. I'll come back and get the rest of those. Hello, a s someone who doesn't some that don't move. I am definitely going to Alright, fine, let's go after the stationary one. I think I was gonna convert. There we go. Oh, Next out now. Uh, this is pretty worthwhile, actually. This is, uh... We lost one guy. I'm gonna get a lot of, uh, um... Melnor made credits for this. Which will get me a lot of fuel. Ah! I lost two people that time. Hey. Alright. There we go. Oh, full up again. Whoops. Go after you. You can really go far when uh, you don't want to be shot, huh? I see you over there. I see you. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Oh, so good. Alright. I see you. One more. One more. Your last one. Gotta wipe out all the life on this planet. Ha ha ha! You're on mine. Uh, let's go ahead and check our manifest. Cargo. 368. Oh, so good. Uh, we've been to that purple one up there, so uh, let's... Ignore the Saturn colored one here. Go over here. Ultramarine world. I like the look of that. And some biologicals. Very nice. Get the Holmium.
Get the uh, green bouncy gel thing. Thank you. And get back here. Thank you. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, well. I'll leave that last one. Um, nah, gravity is minuscule, so it doesn't cost me that much fuel to do this. I want that. Thank you. Alrighty. Next world up. Let's go for that, uh... Go for that blue one next after this, uh... Ah, boo. That is a uh, very close gas giant. There we go. Noble world. I like the sound of that. Oops. I think when we're done with this world, we'll uh, head, or when we're done with the system, we'll head back. Oh well, as long as we're here, we'll get that helium. Are there any other worlds in this system? Is there one more over on this side somewhere? I think so. I think that purple one is. Yeah. Although purple worlds usually have crap, so... Purple world. That's nice crap! Nothing good. Let's get out of here. Alright. I see you coming for me. Let's go meet him. Hello! We come in peace. So do I. Self-destruction circuitry. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, the only problem is that uh, eventually uh, they will disappear, and we won't be getting that those free RUs anymore. Uh, manifest devices, quasi portal, star map. I believe this one is the closest one to Earth. Let me verify that before I actually commit to it. Yes. Take us home, Captain! Oh, wait, I'm the captain. You know, one of those uh, worlds down there had some good stuff. I think it might have been around uh, Alpha Centauri. Might have to go back and revisit it. Because, you know, loots. Hey, Commander Hayes! How come... Was that Neptune or Uranus that was green? I can't remember, but... No, I'm not... I, I don't remember which orbital track it was, but... It should be blue. Greetings, Commander. Captain. I'm ready to assist you. Are you really? Uh, I have minerals to offload. Thank you. Another small load, Captain. Hey, well, bite I me. suppose something is better than nothing. Damn right it is. Can your scientists analyze what I've acquired since my last visit? The analysis reads as follows. Subject, Slylandro probe destruct code sequence. Data. This is a complex sequence of program instructions using an encryption sequence similar in some ways to the Rolling Fung algorithm. You don't say. Summary. When a Slylandro probe approaches, 
open a hailing frequency, wait for a response, and then transmit the code. I can That's do that. the end of our scientist report. Okay. You're not going to say anything about l transmitting it? No? no? Okay. Try to avoid getting gruesomely killed, Captain. <laughs> I try very hard not to. Uh, let's see. Shipyard? Do we have anything new? Nope. Definitely not going to get a Zokfot stinger, that's for sure. There really is no more worthless ship. And it's kind of a shame, too. I like the Zokfot pick. Alright, well, um, I was kind of hoping something else would have gone on here. Um, now, I think we got some... Well... Let's, uh... I think we got some information from the Mel Norme. I, I can't remember everything that we got. Um, but let's uh, actually see about... Ah, Captain, I'm glad you're back. Really? Certainly, Captain. What do you need to know? Okay. Um, what aspect data. of history, Captain? Uh, let's uh, know about the other Starfaring races. Which group of aliens? Members of the okay. Old Alliance. Which race? The Sirene. Most raw recruits saw the Sirene as nothing more than uh, warm, breathing pinups. Warm they are, and yes, they do breathe most magnificently, but Captain, they are far more than simple joy units. The history shows the Sirene established and maintained a peaceful culture from their Bronze Age through their discovery of Starflight. Before their planet was destroyed in a horrible cataclysm, their world was in Eden. Are you going to tell me where the... No, you're not going to tell me. Okay. What other group of aliens are you interested in? Uh... Would you like... Nope. Oh. Sure. Fine. Blow up an Urquan for me, Captain. Okay. I will probably not do that if I can help it. Just saying. All right, well, uh... Let's, uh... I think the Mel Norme gave us information on where we can find them. I think they also gave us information on where their uh, old planet was. But, um, let's go visit them first. Alright. Uh, manifest, cargo, oop, devices, quasi-portal. I believe we were told that they were at Beetlejuice. Uh, which I bel uh, I should have checked exactly which one would be closest, but I think that's going to be the same. Uh, this, uh, which one was it? I think it's going to be this one, which I think is also the one closest to their home planet, their original planet. But we'll go visit the Sirene first. Maybe we can get them on our side. Uh, let's see... Uh, it's a little bit farther than I was expecting, but okay. It's gonna be skirting Vux space, but, uh, eh, whatever. I've got enough fuel, and I've got, uh, um, our caster if, uh, anything happens. Yeah, I think that the Spothy portal might have been, uh, closer. Oh well. We have plenty of fuel. Have a nice leisurely trip through hyperspace. And I do have those, uh... 700 credits still in my inventory. The, uh, um... The biologicals that, uh, I haven't sold to the Melnarme yet. Man, hands-free gaming. It's so good, isn't it? Suddenly, Urquan. Actually, it'd be worse if it were Korra. Urquan are actually not all that difficult to deal with. I can I can take on Urquan. It's a Korra that I really don't like. Alright. Yeah, it's kind of a small system. Let's visit this world first. See if there are any goodies. 
Radioactive world. <laughs> I was looking for goodies. Alright, come on. Drive straight. There we go. I got enough uh, cargo space. Probably only visit this one once if I get full. Uh, might. Nope. Nope. Can't get. Can't quite get it all. What is the gravity before I. Uh... Now nah, it's not. That is enough radioactives. Ooh, treasure world? Yeah! Well, I was looking for goodies. You do have to wonder why no one has gotten this stuff before. Mmm, palladium. Old in them thar hills. Alright, that's good enough. Get uh take another trip down. Blowing all my fuels. Well, I still have plenty. And this is totally worthwhile. Of course at this whoa, ah, lost someone. Of course at this point, biological creatures are uh a little bit more worthwhile. It's palladium. Last bit of palladium. Okay. And you. Do you have anything here? Primordial world. Well, there's biological. Uh, gravity is 1.08. Ooh, class 8 tectonics. Let's try it. Holy crap! <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's let's go. That's that's too much. That's not worth it. Only lost three people, but whatever. More, just more of a headache than anything else. What is this? Acid world? Nothing good there, but there might be biological? Nope. Nope. Alright. Last world. And I totally miss it. I miss it. Three times. There we go. Oh, hey! Well, I guess they got slave shielded. Don't you fart at me, game. Looks to be a lot more water than land there. Attention, unidentified space vessel. Well, Being hello. Born, this slave world and its inhabitants belong to the Urquan. I am Starbase Commander Talana of the slave planet Gaia. Your ship is not responding to standard hierarchy identification sequences. Of course not. Screw them. Therefore classed as independent. And what? Is my monitor display correct? Oh yes. Is that a human commanding that vessel? Indeed it is. Who are you? Well, you'll have to find out in the next episode. See you then.